Okay. All right. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Uh, right, so my brother, um, the, the, he's the smudgy looking one, you know, <laughs> taking up almost a quarter of the fucking screen. And well, actually, mo more than a quarter because it just, like, Daryl just goes into infinity. He's in Daryl section. Yeah. It <laughs> Yeah, we've got a Daryl section here. Good job, Daryl. Uh, you know, bringing up your uh, uh, your recording software in the middle of the video. Uh, so this is my brother. He's uh, done a reaction video to the trailer for Neil Breen's latest film. Uh, what was this called again? Again, it's all smudgy, so I can't. I don't know what it's. Uh, oh, right, yeah, the, the name of Daryl's video is up here. Uh, Cade, a tortured crossing. Uh, so, um, tortured title, no less. Uh, well, yeah, a tortured audience, quite possibly. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's that's the people, an <laughs> audience. I mean, just uh, you know, well, uh, yeah, well, it's uh, a special does, audience, it's a very special, a very specific audience very that we've got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so that my, my brother made uh, a video, uh, reacting to this, and we are going to, uh, uh, react to his reaction so uh you know we've not only got a daryl section we've got our reaction section going on here it's memes uh so anyways uh let's let's see how we're going here <laughs> right. okay. if you're wondering why i'm wearing a, my coat and hoodie it's because okay no one was wondering yeah. Nobody was wondering that, Daryl. Absolutely Everybody not. Everybody dresses like shite on the internet. Like they'll, they'll go all so lol randoms. I am wearing a, a, a lobster hat. And then they'll be like, <laughs> of course you are. Right. Da well, well, obviously we're disappointed that he's not wearing a lobster hat. Yeah, yeah. Just like You have to have something that we have, is worthy of saying. Like, I wonder why you're thinking that I'm wearing an actual pug on my head. And why the pug is doing the Nazi salute? <laughs> we don't know, right? It's random zors, as, as, as they used to say <laughs> back in the old days. So, uh, <coughs> anyways, let's continue with this. Because it's cold, so fuck you. It's, I can confirm it is cold. It's very cold. <laughs> It's just uh, all the, the gronk, different. Gronk, 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 multiple just universes, like dr a swig was taken into f into infinity. Swig into infinity. <laughs> all right. Anyways, I'm recording this because something beautiful has happened today. I was browsing through YouTube as I do because I'm a lonely man. <laughs> that right? I we said you mentioned. <laughs> we watched. We watched a little bit of this on on the uh, the TV through there, and uh, I thought, like, right, we got to react to this. We got to do like our own reaction to this because we're hilarious, you know. Uh, and when I when I heard him say that, I just thought like he's giving off such Alan Partridge vibes right now, <laughs> and I never realised it before. But Daryl does kind of give off Alan Partridge vibes sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I mean, what is it? Like, I mean, Tell we. Me. I mean, you. It's it's like when we were watching those clips of Richard Madeley, and yeah. he was being he was like Alan Partridge, yeah. just He's kind of a sort of almost unself aware cringiness. Where like he's, I, I think Daryl's probably more self aware than that. But he's, but yeah, like it's just these. <laughs> it's the way he puts he's things. Saying about me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just the way he puts I'm things. I'm not gonna totally dunk it up. I'll, I'll no, you no, yeah. you beat, you're his brother. And you're yeah, that Daryl, uh, Daryl, move out of our parents' house, uh, get a job, like a proper job, find a woman and have children. Okay. <laughs> what? I just thought. I'd... Right. Anyways. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> and I saw that our beloved savior of cinema, Neil Breen, this lovely man. <laughs> that, that, that's the. the... The, the savior is just a cold specter of death. This, this, the scarecrow <laughs> of a man. He, he doesn't have no skin, but if you said he had no skin right now, I, you, you know, just that face. Yeah, like <laughs> it's got a normal face, but it's got his skin off. There it is, the skin's there. But th this is all, and right. it's hanging off of his neck, which shows you that. <laughs> 
I mean, okay, that could be a sign of aging, but it could also be a sign of him being an actual lizard man, mm-hmm. and he's taken. He's like he's the projecting. Yeah. If, 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 you know, it's all about the conspiracies. The banks are, or banks are going to merge together to become a, to become a transformer or whatever he, what he he believes in. But it's a, but he's a lizard person. Yeah. That's a it's the banks. Thing. The ba- the banks are going. Uh, they, let's hope he doesn't go full Kanye. You know, <laughs> but yeah. All right. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> anyways let's uh let's continue um <laughs> Dal's face uh right um, has announced uh the website and trailer for his new film uh called uh what was it called again well we'll look at the website here Cade the Tortured Crossing now Daryl this would be a much greater reveal had you not been taking up half the fucking screen? All right? There's a look, there's a mechanism. I imagine I'm using a different screen recorder software than Daryl is right now. Uh, but I imagine that there is a mechanism that allows you to take the mouse cursor, you know, those things, and just sort of, yeah, yeah, just bring it down there. Or, or maybe move it, you know, maybe, well, do both. Like, bring it down, move it up a bit, something like that, so that people can actually see what you want them to see right now i don't know what that word is i don't know what that is you could be making this up <laughs> you like i i don't know your <laughs> neil brain might not have released a film at all but i don't know i can't figure that out because you're taking up half the fucking screen your your camera is like a small african country so Anyways, uh, uh, Neil Breen's uh, website looks like it was made in the 90s, of course. So, uh, I mean, not even the 90s. It's probably, it looks like it was made in the 80s and the internet wasn't even a thing back then. Oh, well. Now, if you're not familiar with who Neil Breen is... Again, I can't even figure out what decade this was made in because you're taking up half the screen. <laughs> He's a legend. He has made over five... I'll, I'll tell you what he I'll tell you what it says. An identical AI twin brother restores mysterious mental asylum. He takes takes it, it himself to <laughs> mystically train the PC as warriors <laughs> for humanity and just time. Just just it. <laughs> just uh, okay. This sounds it's interesting usual already. Delu- delirious, deranged nonsense from Neil Bran. I don't know Bran. Well, well, you can see his full name there. Yeah. Although no, he I'm could sorry. have he could have another last name. Yeah. But that could be his middle name. Breen. We don't know. We don't know. It, it, or unless it's you know Neil Breen Daryl's face. <laughs> Neil Breen Daryl. <laughs> yeah, that's his name. Neil Breen Daryl's face. <laughs> that's, that's what this is, right? So, anyways. We had a connection to this guy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's, it's so it's such a coincidence, you know. Trickle feature films. Oh, sorry, sorry, we missed Daryl's. <laughs> um, uh, we missed Daryl's impression of Neil Breen. And uh, uh, films, including films like there was Double Down was his first one. No, I didn't and there was, skip it back enough. Now, if you are not familiar with who Neil Breen is, he's a legend. He has made over five theatrical feature films. Now you should have gone. What you should have done, uh, done was gone. Book, uh, what is it? Is it Booker T? I think it's Booker T that does the five time. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's what Neil Breen should do. It's just like you know five. You know, feature films. Five, five feature films. <laughs> five. Five. You got the five. It's the dull voice. <laughs> five, five feature films. Daryl's actually way better at doing the impressions. Now. He's very good at that, actually. Uh, so there you go. There's the Daryl praise. Like, it lasts under a second, but it's like there. Right? grudging praise. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Uh, films including films like there was Double Down was his first one then there was I Am Here dot 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 now then there was uh, Fateful Findings and there was Pass Through and there was Twisted Pair and now we have his sixth uh, theatrical feature film I I can't remember which one I saw um, I think it might have been Twisted Pair because Daryl actually Daryl actually buys these things yeah. Yeah, I saw I watched one of them with you. I think it's Twisted Pair. 
Yeah, like Daryl actually buys these things, and uh, I think yeah, we did actually watch Twisted Pair. That was the one with the the illegal immigrants coming across the border, wasn't it? And and then basically Neil Breen's character was like, "You have to go back." <laughs> <laughs> Like Neil Breen da- channeling Donald I'm, I'm, Trump. I'm glad to see the other side is, <coughs> is represented by a lunatic. That, that's always it's like, yeah, great. Just the... it's, great. it's a great. It's like, finally someone for our side. But it's like, no, not really. <laughs> like, lunatics bring out the best in us. <laughs> I'd love it if Alex Jones made a film. Oh I my god! Is, yeah, I know he is in a film, but I know he is. I think they made it. Well, the, the, apparently. America. I, I, I can't see it. Yeah, isn't that that well, Amerigeddon? Isn't that that Brian Chancellor Smith one? Or am no, I thinking no, of something no, else? No, 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 oh, no, no. Yeah, Brian Chancellor no, Smith did this what, other it's thing. What's his face? Um, Aaron Norris. Oh, it's Chuck, not even yeah. Chuck Norris. It's his brother. <coughs> yeah, it's his brother. Yeah, I, I don't know why I thought. I think like it, I'm thinking of that other Brian Chancellor Smith movie where it was like some kind of weird oh, yeah, CGI yeah. apocalyptic thing. But... No, but it, it looks miserable though. Oh, he's right. like a senator in it. That's kind of it. I mean, <laughs> Senator Alex oh, Jones. Senator, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's almost like eighties, nineties thing. Just play a senator in an action film. <laughs> oh God! Do you remember when Bill what was it? Bill O'Reilly showed up in an Iron Man film. Iron Man. He was in. What else? He was in something else. He was in Michael Bay films. It'll come to me. Yeah. yeah, I bet that like so, you know, someone went to him. Iron Man Transformers uh, three. Maybe or two. Well, someone someone went to him and said, hey, "Do you want to be in Transformers 26?" And he was like, "Fuck it, <laughs> we'll do it." <laughs> I don't know about live, but anyway, anyways, back to Daryl. <laughs> uh, I'm not including the uh, documentary that he made or filmmaking course that he made. <laughs> that that looked brilliant. Uh, it's just him sitting, like, and the camera's not even, like, like his head room is like that. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I just, just look like, fucking, I was like, yo, this is how you set up a cat, and he's like that. It's just uh, the, uh, the fucking goal. The goal, yeah, I just... Uh, like, so you can just walk up and go, you, you're gonna... <laughs> I almost wish I could have, the, like, the, the unself-aware confidence of a man <laughs> like that, but then, of course, I don't really, because... Everything I make would be shit. <laughs> but, anyways. Uh, his films are something to be believed. I've seen three of them so far. I've seen Double Down, although the version I saw was a little bit hokey. Some of the audio was missing, so I've sort of seen it. Well, you've seen uh, it. Fateful Findings is a masterpiece. Uh, Pass Through, I saw once. So... <laughs> Just casually, it's like, Fateful Findings is a masterpiece. <laughs> I mean, it does look like one. <laughs> I've seen bits of it. It's his, like, put it this way: it's his masterpiece. Oh, oh you know, yeah. Like, like, masterpiece is something that's perfect within like a parent, or, like a, like a parent where, where yeah. it's supposed to be. It's his, um, it's his equivalent of um, Oliver Stone's Alexander yeah, or yeah. Um, Michael Camino's uh, Heaven's Gate. <laughs> this or, is my um, masterpiece. You Philistines don't or understand. That guy who made the wraith. But, um, or that guy who made the wraith. Yeah. But that is a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I need to watch that one again. I don't really remember much about it other than no, you don't. It's fucking insane <laughs> in the film. Uh, but yeah, so films. they're definitely something to be seen. But uh, if you want to see any of his films, uh, you have to go to a different website for each one, and you have to pay about forty dollars. I love how convoluted it is. One. It's... But I tell you, it's worth it. It's absolutely <laughs> worth it. No, it's not, Dal. Stop but lying anyways. to the audience. <laughs> The point is, is that he has announced... It's better if you could buy it up a storefront. Admit it. Yes, like, I would... You know, if I could go in... Uh, if I could go in HMV and buy a Neil Breen movie, I'd do it. Yeah. But I can't. I am not... No, I am not going onto multiple different websites to buy what is going to be the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, yes, I will laugh my balls off, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, it's, it's not. It's just not worth the my my time. All right. So yeah. Anyways, this new film it won't be out until next year because of course he's got to submit it to film festivals and then we'll find out what's going on. But first, let's read the plot synopsis. It to an again. identical, 
AI twin brother. This is worth mentioning as well that the character Cade was in the movie Twisted Pair. <laughs> finally, so, we'll, finally, we'll know what it actually says. You know, th- uh, thanks, Daryl, for reading it out for us. You know. <laughs> You know, an identical AI twin brother restores Daryl's DVD shelf. Well, thank God. You know? <laughs> Restore. If, it, if someone hadn't done that, then uh, Daryl wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have uh, uh, movies to suggest for the, uh, for the Screen Distance podcast, which Nick never puts out, by the way. Nick, put out some fucking podcasts. Uh, what are you I, I just wonder which ones we would we'd walk over and judge and say, why do you have this on the shelf? Why are you displaying <laughs> this? <laughs> oh, we do that all the time. We, it's like, I, 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 I go in there. Yeah, I just, I go in there. It's like, what is this shit? Twilight's you know? there. Dragon Ball Evolution's there. You know, just like... <laughs> just all this stuff, you, you know. Clean out shit. I mean, admittedly, you could probably look at my comic shelf or my bookshelf and be like, why have you got this? You know? Although half the shit I've got here is stuff you gave me. Not half of it, but you know. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. You know, I'm about as exaggerated as Daryl's, uh, you know, camera screen here. Probably more so. Or, anyways. <laughs> yeah. So he was like, they were like AI alien human hybrid things. I I still don't understand it. Uh, not an identical to. AI twin brother restores an old mysterious mental asylum. Sounds noble. And I, okay, an identical AI twin brother. Okay, okay, right. We need to unpack this, right? Okay, so <coughs> you've you've left out a bunch of shit here, Neil. <laughs> I, I, and, uh, ident- identical to who? The an other uh, the other AI twin brother. It's like that. Yeah, it's like that. yeah. I remember the trailer. Yeah, there's just like two of them walking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, is this the? Was that the one where the guy's got like the beard? I think so, yeah. Oh, is this that other? All oh, right, I think incredible. I did see some of this. Yeah, like. Oh god. Oh my god! Yeah, it is incredible. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, like anyone who doesn't know, I mean, I don't know how anyone would stumble upon this site if they didn't already know who Neil Breen was. But like anyone looking at this is like, they're already confused, you know. For, like, first half of first sentence, they're confused. You know? I mean, I guess it works since it's, uh, they can only read the first half right now. <laughs> Shrink your camera! <laughs> he takes it upon himself to mystically train the patients as warriors for humanity and justice. Alright. Alright, I do need to see this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, because I want all the, all these uh, psychopaths and uh, you know, <laughs> and uh, schizophrenics to be, you know, uh, leading the way in true human justice. Yeah, it's called the government, Daryl. I mean, you've, I mean, you've seen who they elected in Pennsylvania. They elected a stroke patient. Literally. And the guy in what was it? The guy in uh, in I don't think they elected him, but he like he had Herschel Walker. He had that book where like the first four pages, the voices in his head are telling him to shoot a man for delivering a car to his house too late. Just incredible. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's called government now. Because I'm I'm sure they'll know what they're doing, but uh, if they're being led by this glorious man. This uh, man who we... All right, all right, all right, he's... Okay, he's about to scroll down. <laughs> let him scroll. All right, I will let him do it. Okay. Eventually. I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, let me adjust my... Uh, oh! Oh! Uh, oh! 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 <laughs> We're mildly... Yes! Mildly. You did it! <laughs> oh! Oh, well, shit, now I have no more material. I guess we better stop watching this, then. <laughs> he's down a bit. <laughs> no, 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 he's putting it back. There we go. Uh, this glorious man, which, by the way, I love the... Uh, okay. Just boxed in right there. He, he's, uh, he's cut it out quite well, actually. It's quite well done. It's just... 
You couldn't have put some faith <laughs> lines there or something. Wall, emblazoned on the but nope, there he is. Just stand. Right. Okay. First, right. First of all, that wheelchair is massive. Look at him. Yeah. That wheelchair is fucking massive. Secondly, is someone going to help that poor man lying on the ground back there? <laughs> Thirdly, is that another person? I think that's another person lying on the ground over there. Two, uh, three, it also should, or four, it should be Neil Green Films Incorporated. <laughs> Neil Green Films <laughs> LS, LLC. <laughs> Incorporated. Incorporated. Enterprises. <laughs> right. Enterprises. <laughs> Neil Crest Enterprises. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Scratch, eh? <laughs> the internet, eh? <laughs> Standing there, looking Carl really Smith, fucking eh? small <laughs> compared to the, yeah, he's the wheelchairs there and uh, there's a couple of dead, bo dead bodies lying around. How do you know they're dead? I'm assuming they're dead. <laughs> Could be wrong. But anyways... I, I must admit to you, I did start watching the trailer. I got about 20 seconds in or something. I got up to a certain point and then I was like, I need to film myself reacting to the rest of this. So no, we'll, didn't. we're, we're going to take this didn't journey to together. Do anything. Do this back so uh, let's uh, watch the trailer. <laughs> I might have to pause every once in a while just in case. Because Neil Breen, if you're watching this, just follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, mate. Because... This isn't the world one needs piece. more filmmakers like reaction. you. Are, and I, I'm being genuine here, by the way. The world needs more filmmakers like you who are willing to take risks and try new things. <laughs> I'm being genuine about that. So, <laughs> so just follow your dreams, okay? So here we go. Like he, he doesn't just, need you to tell it's him. It's just sad when he's the only one doing it. If when that's the quality of our guy, just like do yeah, it. That's do what it, we're like, getting. Like hey, uh oh. Oh, it's a donkey throwing up in my face. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like... Uh, oh, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, he doesn't need you to tell him, Daryl. He's following his dreams, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. Let's watch this along with Daryl. I'm sure he filmed on location. Absolutely. No question about that. <laughs> okay, The Tortured Crossing. A Neil Breen film. As if you couldn't tell. The, I know, this is nothing. nothing. No oh, improvement man. whatsoever. It's just, uh, like, <laughs> it still looks like the worst student film you've ever he seen. He still plays, life. like, two main characters. He's still, <laughs> he's still using that. <laughs> still using the shitty font. And also, like, the, sub, like, the subtitle should be capitalized as well. Like, oh, God. So, it's important that we, that we know that. Oh, we've got a little watermark down there that we can't see Enterprises, still. Enterprises Incorporated. Yeah, Neil, Neil Crest Enterprises Incorporated Limited. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Green Films. <coughs> I think together we can make a success of What's Jeff Bezos doing in this film? Oh, I wonder what this film's gonna be like again. <laughs> Look at the size of this table. I hate orphans! <laughs> <laughs> I resigned today as president of EA, I guess. I don't know. Or... <laughs> or... or what what are there? What corporations are there that people hate? Um, I don't know, Konami. Konami, I guess. Uh, yeah. Hideo Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> I resigned today as the president of Hideo yeah. Kojima. Death Stranding Two. That's a thing. <laughs> that is a thing that oh. is occurring. Yes. Uh, why? Why is? Why was that just a fucking <laughs> still image? Like nothing moved. <laughs> <laughs> like while they were talking, I know. I'm, I need to just... <laughs> uh, let's just keep going. Think together, we can make a success of this. Talking, but nothing's happening. Anyways, yay. They are... <laughs> oh, look at, oh, shit. Look at his... Look at his feet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't...
don't know why this is. It might be because his jacket is too long or something like that. But it looks <sighs> it looks like his legs are too short. Like he looks he looks like fucking he looks like Gary Oldman in tiptoes. <laughs> That's a reference for yeah, you right there. Yeah. You know, do you remember when we watched that? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> oh yeah, it was fantastic. It was something. You know, but not quite as good as a Neil Breen movie. No, it is kind. It was kind of the Neil Breen movie of its day. Let me let's let's think about it. Sort of. Yeah. In, in a it, way. It was probably it was probably more competent. Oh, it's a competent made. one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, right. What? Right. We're, we're talking too much about tiptoes now. Right. Look, look at his feet. <laughs> Our heroes. Okay. I, we, will never let them down. <laughs> I, we. Yeah, Jesus. Like, it, right, okay, we, like, we can never mock Shatner ever again. I know, we can never... Which, which I was always against. Anyway, like, but, uh, I, we. Like, yeah, it's, I, do, we. do you think you want to do another take, Neil? <laughs> Sounds like, sounds like maybe six or seven people <laughs> not the, This youth trafficking is disgusting. We had two more last night. Okay. The, again, like the size of things. Like he's not like, set anymore. Like this, going... this guy's a midget. In, com like, in the comparison to this dude here. I don't know what Larry King is doing here. <laughs> he's supposed to be dead. He's supposed to be dead, yeah. And those chairs are fucking massive too. Can he not afford to just film in a film? <laughs> the mental. I resigned today as president of the mental hospital. No, the mental. What mental hospital? The mental hospital. <laughs> no one. <laughs> no one. Like, okay, people call them mental hospitals, but. Like, I imagine if Nick were here right now, he'd be like, well, you can't call them mental hospitals because that's stigmatizing it. Shut the fuck up. Just say what you would call it. Would we call it infirmary? Would we call... Yeah. Just, so, yeah, just fucking... House of the mentals. <laughs> House of the mentals. <laughs> like, or, or you could call it something overly bright and happy, like, um, uh, you know, that movie Arsenic and Old Lace, there was, like, a mental hospital. It was called, like, uh, Happy Vale or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> the mental hospital where we keep the mentals. <laughs> Why is she? So this looks like a right. Sorry, <coughs> this looks like fucking Phantasmagoria two. <laughs> this thing's last set. Like, yeah. I, I recall like some of them having set like, in in his house. But that's just. I know, it, it looks like it, no. It, it looks like a. Like a an FMV point and click adventure from like the nineties. Yeah, or you're in the, we're in the middle of like a person just being clicked over there, and then he's just walking to that side. Yeah, and then you're about to go and uh, talk to this guy, and he's gonna say I something don't know. ridiculous. Learn a thing about you know, that. He's gonna be like, you know, I like ice cream, <laughs> and and you're just left wondering what the fuck am I doing with my life? You know, I could be playing Monkey Island or something, but uh, yeah. So uh, small. Everyone is so small compared to the wheelchairs. He fell over. Yeah, fuck what that the wheelchair. What's going on here? We're doing the best we can. We're trying. We're trying. That's not good enough. <laughs> yeah, listen to Neil Green. He's the arbiter of all that is good. In the audio, I see the audio. Uh, oh, fuck, uh, did he actually film on something? No, he didn't. Now, look at those lights. Uh, Wait, did he? Uh, I don't is know. Is this what mental hospitals look like now? <laughs> Where's this guy? <laughs> Why would anyone. Oh my god, it's Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> This mental hospital can be summed up in one word. A schnickle fickle snicker backle. <laughs> what? Send someone to this place. <laughs> I want to see where my money's been going. Oh, God, oh, oh re really? Now you want to know? Don't let them hurt me anymore. Thank you. I wandered that shit through Ukraine. <laughs> God, God bless you. Yeah. This looks like a cool place, though. You got all the vines coming down and everything. It looks like an abandoned mental hospital, and like they're okay, still is this, just using is this it. Real? 
I mean, no, I think it's a real place. It's just that he's taken a like a stock image of a a mental hospital yeah. that's been abandoned, and uh-huh. he's just superimposed himself. Like this must have taken some work. Like, yeah. a certain level of work to, like, superimpose himself, you know. But, you know, I'm sure there are, like, abandoned mental asylums. Like, didn't Reagan shut those down? Mm-hmm. You know? Like, yeah, do it. Yeah just, yeah, just shut down all the mental hospitals. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. everyone cheered. But, but <laughs> I imagine that's how it happened. And then, like, American flags flew everywhere. <laughs> and, a, and he rode away in a horse. That's what happened. Uh, I never, I wasn't there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. What do you know about the patient trafficking that's going on here? What do you know about the gene editing research? <laughs> you give her some, give her, look, real, give her some direction. She doesn't know what the <laughs> fuck is going on. There's also the, the, the horrific irony of goes to mental hospital is Neil Green. <laughs> Nobody here is gonna be as like as del- deranged as nobody, you are. Like, no, yeah, no one's and no one's doing a damn thing about it. No one's like d- restraining him or, or like trying to like shove pills down his throat or anything. God, Reagan really fucked America by shutting down the mental hospital. That's, that's all I'm saying. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about here. Oh, oh boy! Oh, oh I see. He's shaved the There's beard. There's been a huge increase uh, in the amount of kidnapping uh, and the youths or runaways that are being used for medical testing. Uh, we'd like you to keep a lookout for any irregularities that what might happen at your lab. What is this we're standing in? Just like... <laughs> Mr. Biden, sir, what are you going to do about the fact that we are all just superimposed on a Google stock image? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to change a damn thing. Except my depends. We can make a difference with them. Oh. For those of you who don't realize, that was a joke about Joe Biden shooting himself. I guess they weren't doing that before. Oh, oh god, he's looking oh, at us. Oh, oh no! Ah, oh, oh, fuck, he's... he's got gold like, now. <laughs> oh, fuck, ninjas? Oh my god. Our fuck, there's like five Neil Breeds. We've taken in six new patients. Right, wait, right. It was worse New York Ninja though, remember? It was just like that kind of like stock fighting like in a fighting game, but it just like but it had frame rate. By the way, Daryl, you're supposed you're, you're kind of, I mean, in, in my opinion, you should be like stopping it and like making little comments here. You, you're not like <laughs> we're, that's what we're doing. It's kind of what we're doing, you know. But uh, we're now we're just commenting on the trailer. We're doing what you were supposed to do. <laughs> no. We're doing your job for you. <laughs> Is someone gonna help this poor person? We're gonna be arrogant and call like the, the, the fixed version. <laughs> this is the fixed version of Daryl's reaction. Holy shit, they are. Oh my god. It's this week. Oh. We've lost two. We can't afford to lose any. Patients are money. Are you maybe, right, sorry, are you gonna maybe do something about the mold that's caking your walls or the fact that like your windows are no longer there? Like, the fact that you're an abandoned building? I don't know. Are, right, these, are these things redundant? These it. things are redundant. Oh, let's hear, um... Let's hear Neil Breen make an impassioned speech in a, an American court of law, which is undoubtedly where he is right now. Yeah. Wherever there's an injustice, I will be there. <laughs> that was he a Supreme Court justice Where Wherever there's now? a fight, we will be there. Never forget. <laughs> if there's like Whoa! ten people again. Take it off. And now I guess they're in spoilers. When is this trailer gonna end? We're just Again again the, I, I'm getting such like horror <laughs> point and click adventure game from the nineties. Like, yeah, it reminds me of like Dark Seed or, or I'm Harvester. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'll imagine he's never seen a game like that in his life. That, that'll be the funnier thing. Yeah, that would be it. He's never played it. Accidentally emulated all these games. Yeah, I think that would be great if Neil Breen could make like a, an FMV, like a 90s FMV horror point and click adventure oh, game. Someone, well, someone, even just someone else would make like a game starring him. You know, using yeah. the audio clips going, where is it? 
Yeah, that would be good, actually. Someone who actually knows what these games are yeah. like and uh, has seen Neil Breen movies, like, just have... Just go to Neil Breen and say, like, hey, can I, like, uh, turn you into... He'll probably say yes. You probably don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but he'll say yes. They are coming for you, my warriors. Is this whole movie... This is what I've been preparing you for. These are warriors? Oh, yeah, such noble, valiant heroes. <laughs> What the fuck is going on in there? Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Oh, okay, that's it. From, more from Spectra Video. Never heard of this before. Gambling. Yeah. Am I going to look up Spectra Video and well, find no, well, it? There's no gambling. There's, no anyone, there's any investors on this movie. Um, Probably, well, no, no. no I'm just thinking, like, am I going to look up Spectra Video and find that, uh, uh, like, you know, this video, uh, th this this video service was provided by Neil Breen. <laughs> <laughs> he started up his own video uh, yeah. um, service to compete with YouTube. But what else is there to say, Daryl? <laughs> You know something, I will admit, I was like, at the start of it, I was kind of like, yeah, you know, it looks funny, but not that funny. But then, then it just went and just made an absolute fucking masterpiece. A banger, Oh my god. Oh no, he's, br was... he's brought his face back. All right, he's. That's, yeah, I can't figure out how to program things. Like, I... Daryl, this is, this is terrible. Like, what is. What's this say anyway? Like, focus on the big video capture. Ah, oh, fuck, who cares? It doesn't matter. You've ruined <laughs> it already, stream... Oh, it's stream... Streamlabs. Oh. Okay. He's got Streamlabs there. Oh, he's oh. using Streamlabs. I never knew he was using Streamlabs. Okay. I guess that was what he was using for uh, for screen distance. Um, but yeah, so, look, Daryl, if you're going to. That's, like... a, that's a joke. I don't care. Daryl, really. you're, not, you're not looking at the video anymore. You might as well just, like, Bring, if you're going to bring your face up like that, you might as well just make it the whole screen. I mean, don't, but do. Uh, <laughs> lingering at us. We can look at his DVD shelf. <laughs> we can maybe squint at his DVD shelf and try to uh, find uh, some of the... God, you're into Ricky Marty stuff. cringe. Oh, God, he, uh, yeah, I think he probably does yeah, have Ricky Marty there. I think he probably does. <laughs> Something tells oh. me I'm certain he has Rick and Morty there. You know, along with like uh, all these, he's got like a, a bunch of Dragon Ball Z, which is fine, okay. especially if it's Dragon Ball though. Yeah, Dragon Ball. Mostly Dragon Ball. Wow. Dragon Ball Z is uh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's mostly just Goku fighting people, and everyone else sits in uh, in Kami House, yeah. staring into a crystal ball and going, "Well, gee, I hope Goku shows up." Mm -hmm. Anyways, we'll we'll talk about Dragon Ball Z another time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you do you really need to think about this? Do we really need the 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 thinking emoji here? Do we really need that? Stop channeling the quarter. Right? It was just it was beautiful. It was just. <laughs> he was just emotionally hang affected. On, hang on. Is he gonna go full Kevin Smith and start crying? <laughs> Daniel, next time you want you react to a Neil Breen trailer, you need to go full Kevin Smith and just start weeping. <gasps> Weeping you beta just need to vegan tears. To, like destroy your weight um, and make yourself the scrawniest man that has ever lived. So yeah, that's how you lose your your uh, your masculinity. Yeah. This is what yeah, this is what veganism does to a man yeah. when you yeah. <laughs> just oh, let's oh. just uh, oh. let's just go <laughs> for a moment. Let's just let's just skip through here. All right, so we're going. So there's this is like one of the guys. I will say this. That beard looks a hell of a lot better in this film than it did in the last one. In the last one, it just looked so flat and lifeless. Like, oh, yeah, that was the last one. Um, it was the one where he's like jumping off of things. Yeah. And he's, he's, yeah. And then blowing up the banks. Yeah, the banks. Bust like, the banks. That was what it's called, probably. <laughs> this is basically, is Neil Breen trying? Is this Neil, Neil Breen is trying to do Fight Club or something? <laughs> yeah, just blowing up the banks. Or... <laughs> Like, I don't even know how to put it. It just looked like it was just made of... Filled with bloody glue or something. But here it actually doesn't look too bad. 
I could, John if, Beale. you know, from a distance and in certain spots, I could almost believe that that's actually a beard. Good job, Neil. <laughs> Daryl Smith believes you have a beard. <laughs> he believes it with all of his heart <laughs> that you have a beard. You know, now, as to whether you are actually standing in front of a brick wall, that's an entirely different thing, but... I, oh, wait, speak, sorry, sorry, speaking about Dragon Ball Z, though, I would love if, like, Neil did, like, made an, like, an impassioned plea and, like, s like, took the energy of everyone on Earth to create a spirit bomb to destroy the banks. I think that would be one of the best. It's <laughs> like, give me your energy, yeah. everyone! And then just, like... <laughs> There's like a footage of like Trump, like he's got a picture of like I give power to Neil Breen. <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. That'd be fucking yes, yes, it would. Now this is comparing it to the other one. It doesn't look that bad, so I'll give him that. Now, why is it that this whole movie, it's all of it, is done? With green screen, by the way, something. None of it seems to have any genuine sets. It's like, why? why? Because it's Neil Breen, Dial, and he is a genius. I don't know what to tell you. Is this the equivalent of him going like more up budget? So he uses just like like just, yeah, like, use more CGI. It's expensive. And yeah, just, like, yeah. It's is I this guess equivalent. He just becomes an FMV and, and point and click game. Yeah, so except that we're not actually pointing and clicking, we're just watching him just be in a video game, I guess. But, uh, yeah, who are all these people that he hired to do this? Like, I wonder who, I wonder, <coughs> the people that are in the film alongside him, are they aware of Neil Breen? Are they aware of who he is? And the, and the meme that he is? Yeah. Are they aware? I don't know. Like, uh... why have you given up on sex, Neil? Yeah, I don't think he has any you know, like this the bit right here. It's like, a where is it? Hospital. Right at the beginning. Yeah, this whole thing here. Yeah, sure. You probably couldn't find a set that looks as lavish as that without costing you tons of money. Surely you could have rented out conference space. You could have <laughs> rented it out of a fucking hotel. It could be done. What about the University of Nevada? That you well, you could have moved out of our parents' house, oh, but you but you won't do it, will you, Daryl? You know? <laughs> in the last film. I'm sure they have conference rooms. You know, I'm just saying. And here, you couldn't find a set of stairs. <laughs> just... <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know, but, yeah, yeah, uh, you know... And... Top looks great in comparison. Those monitors. You know, Hollywood Cop was uh, like conceivably shot in like an a in actual places, yeah. like in like in, in Hollywood, I guess. It's some of it's in Hollywood, some of it's just in a shithole. Okay, but yeah, yeah there was still okay. Some of it was in a, most of it was in L. A. Then, but um... okay, right, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was in L. A. Yeah, but wait, when was Hollywood Cop made? It was like the eighties. No, yeah, yeah. the eighties. It's like the shit, the shitty. Yeah. <laughs> There's no such thing as the shitty eighties, surely. <laughs> mm, well, I don't know. We've seen some movies. There are some. Uh, but yeah. Nothing's perfect. <laughs> They're fucking enormous. <laughs> also, hang on. What are they? This doing? youth trafficking is disgusting. Yeah. We had two more last night. Yeah, the people in the background aren't moving. It's just a still image. Yeah. What Again, the are you showing on? Legal. Mental hospital. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, clearly, I mean, I guess he just went on Google Image and just found yeah. an image of an abandoned, whether it was a castle or yeah, Daryl, you're you're catching up to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's we... gonna learn that the government lies. Three, <laughs> two, two, one. <laughs> What's a mental hospital? I don't know. But if you done that, this, um, what have you done this, Neil? What have you subjected like, us to? Why is why are <laughs> These wheelchairs are fucking enormous. And then he's just like. And I just love this. He's just like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is all shit. Fuck this perfectly good equipment. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? We're doing the best we can. You no, know, Daryl, you could have made this commentary like earlier while you were watching. That's the purpose of a reaction video. You know? Like you're. 
You don't have to watch it, say almost nothing, and then go back and make the comments. You know, I... We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> it's like, we're trying. Did I just say that? Yeah, we're trying. We're trying, even though clearly... Well, said. Like, how many people work? Yeah. must work here? <laughs> He's definitely and trying. People are rolling about on the floor, war warping into broken wheelchairs. <laughs> and we said all this shit. Out. I didn't see you walk up to him. Like, I haven't seen scaling this bad since that episode of the Flash. I don't know what fucking happened. So, so how tall is this guy? I mean, guy, that, I must admit, that guy looks so casual. Oh, like he's just, he's like, yeah, I'm in a, yeah, I'm in a mental institution. You know, like lurching, functioning schizophrenic. Like yeah. loitering on the back and just with a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what I would. You know, I didn't see yeah, that. like I see pink elephants. You know, the squirrel on my shoulder tells me to burn down children's hospitals. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Average height of a door frame is what? Like six feet? About six foot five? Something like that, the average? Something like that? And this guy is about. Oh I mean, yeah, he's standing away from it, but still, no, he's, so he's he must be about four foot tall. <laughs> I mean, this place is freaking enormous. If these people are just Christ Almighty, and there's graffiti back there, and the paint's coming off. Like, look, interior. You can hate on capitalism Smith. all you want, right? But no oh, business would ever let it run down right. this monopoly. Well look, you can hate on capitalism. <laughs> Oh, you want it, right? <laughs> but no business would ever let it run down this bad. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> and why is everybody being sent here? Kyle's got a, a defense of capitalism here now. <laughs> well, no, I don't I, care if you're black or white. Uh, we can all get along. And... I've got an even better defense of capitalism oh, no. right here. Oh, I've got an actual book. Put the gun yeah. down, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've got something else as well. But uh, oh yeah, I've got uh, Road to Serfdom by. I was, I was yeah. thinking that in my head. Road to Serfdom. I thought that was like one of your big books, but it's, yeah, yeah, that was one of my books that I've got down there. So um, yeah, so Frida Kek, you know. Uh, yeah. anyways. anyways, and if these are just wards of the state. If these are all just wards of the state and shit like that, then surely the government would put more money into the... I take that back. The government doesn't put money into fucking anything. But then again... That's not true. That's not true. The government puts a lot of money into a lot of things, like uh, wars and uh, inflation and... um... Oh, and... uh, crack for disenfranchised urban youths yeah like crack kits like for safe crack use you know and uh, clean needles for homeless people who shit on the street so here yeah <laughs> thank you Joe Biden <laughs> this is something that interests them so surely they would want to know but if this is a private thing I'm assuming that this is privately privately funded, then once again, surely the investors would want the best quality for these yeah. things. I'm analyzing this way too far. Thank you, Thomas Sowell. <laughs> like, oh, oh. We're, we're not even talking about the trailer anymore. We're just talking I about... thought it was him for a second, but then I realized that crucial difference. Oh yeah, that crucial difference. You know, Dal doesn't have quite nearly as nice a hairstyle. And uh, just this. And also, Dal still lives with his parents. It's, uh, it's, it's fucking beautiful. And I mean, just look at. <laughs> Why would anyone even willingly work there? Like, yeah, I'm gonna go work there. Dal, it's like we're doing the best question, we can. It? It's just like. So does she know that they're being explained? <laughs> this is fucking... Oh, dear. And then you got Supreme like Court like Justice man. Breen here. That's why, that's why <laughs> yeah. I, I was here. It's like, I don't believe in a lot in this country. You want, you but want I believe we blow up the bags and it'll be done. And then just like... <laughs> 
you want real sets and locations? You can't handle real sets and locations. <laughs> no, 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 this was, no, you can't. Goes, oh. <laughs> You're living out of a hole. And then we got right? fucking... Just... I mean, Neil that's the best shit I've ever seen. Even. That is the best thing <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, just... You keep doing what you're doing, Neil. It's beautiful. You just run out of energy. Absolutely. Dial. Be completely run out of energy <laughs> towards the end of the video. And now you're just back to telling Neil to do the thing that he was never in danger of stopping. <laughs> like doing, you know. Oh. Beautiful. Speaking of... So, uh... I need to get caught up on my Neil Bree. <laughs> but also, you know what would be really handy? Is if you put out DVDs of Double Down and I Am Here Now. Because you haven't had them on DVD in fucking years. Okay, and I want, want them. That. I will pay you money for them. <laughs> because I'm retarded. <laughs> Have a good one. Hey, bye. <laughs> well, um... That Glenn, was. Glenn's proper I'm gonna. Everybody. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go full Daryl here. I'm just gonna bring up the uh, recording summary. Look, I'll bring up the uh, the preview thing here, and what I'll do is I'll just. <laughs> you can see how terrible my hair is right now. Uh, it was always terrible. So, uh, well, that was uh, my brother doing a reaction of um, uh, of what was it called again? Cade, uh, Cade the Tortured Cross. The Tortured Cross or Crossing or something crossing, like that? Crossing, yeah. I don't know what the fuck it was, but... Uh, yeah, uh, so what did we think of that trailer reaction? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't bad. It was... Yeah, like he, he... He certainly watched and reacted to that trailer. I mean, eventually he reacted to it. Is, is this is this the the standards of which we tr the judge a reaction? I guess. I, I guess. I mean, has anyone reacted to a trailer reaction before? I don't know. We might be pioneers. Potentially. Yeah. I, I do. Do I do hear about like a lot of black people like reacting to music? But uh, I don't know. That might be like a weird French <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, it's always like uh, uh, yeah, you know, it's like uh, you know, black person hears uh, Black Sabbath for the first time. And like, yeah, he's like, cool. yeah, cool. I like this. And they're just like, usually, yeah, I've seen like a few of them. They're usually just amiable. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. Like... amiable black dudes <laughs> on the internet. Yeah, I like this. Just, yeah, man. This is really chill. Yeah. Uh, well, um, amiable black dudes on the internet, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> The world needs more amiable black dudes reacting to heavy metal on the internet. And the world needs more Daryl Smith sort of reacting to trailers. Uh, I've been Dead Eye. This has been the wonderful and sexy Christopher Baird. Gives it a little weird. Oh, sexy. But, uh... Uh, and may, may you ride the night to the morning sun.